Time for a new community series. What replaces Gate is Charlotte. I know nothing about this show. People are hyping it up. How good could it really be? Let's begin today's episode. Is he the chosen one? Okay, his eye, some kind of eye power. So his like eyes activate. But it looks like he almost like possessed each one of them, right? He like phased into each one of them. I don't know what that really means, but he like kind of make can do this shit, okay? Uh, firework? Uh, fire, uh, fuck, comet. So he just became the granny. If he thinks of somebody, he can become that person. So, already, are, what, what kind of fan service anime are we gonna get? Is he gonna start possessing girls? Is he gonna do some, start doing some sussy shit? What are we doing? Yeah! Okay, five seconds. One minute, 18 seconds in. Yep, of course he would do that. Well, he's like a dumb fucking student. And why is his ass just sticking up every fucking time, bro? Every time he thinks of somebody and goes over to somebody, his ass is just sticking up every time. That's crazy. That, and again, his ass more. <laughs> he just goes to different girls and he just wants to like do fan service because he can't get in trouble. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Possess him and start a fight. BOOM! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him behind. Yo, these poses when he loses consciousness over his real body is just like very sussy. <laughs> Cheating! Nice! Wait, but like you have to know who's a smart person to cheat. Because if you take over someone and then they're not actually smart, you kind of just like fuck up, right? So, okay. Okay. So, the people that get possessed after he leaves their body, do they feel something? Right? Because they went from the guy to the girl right here. Right? Wonder if they are like, whoa, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Otosaka, you. I'm gonna assume that is our main character, yeah? <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I'd honestly do the same shit, though. True. We need to know who the smart kids are. We're going into high school next, right? This is middle school, and he's about to <laughs> go to... <laughs> okay, this is... I can't take him seriously. Is this supposed to be a comedy show? I don't know. There's, there's, some, there's some funny moments. This is definitely not suspicious at all. Erito. Well, shit, this is like the person that every, you know, every time the cherry blossoms fall down, it's like a, a new cohort's coming in. The first person, they got to give like a speech in the podium, right? And that's usually the best scores in the school, right? So he cheated. He got it in. You can. All right. Give us a speech. <laughs> How dare he look good too. <laughs> the comment is so fucking funny. Oh, he's the big guy with the best grades. How dare he be hot? Speech time. <laughs> hey, careful. Oh, he's kinda hot. <laughs> cat. Her mouth has a cat mouth. Got such a shitty look after every, after every time he cheats and does something like that. Yo, are we getting stalked? Do we have a stalker? What? Uh, sorry to bother you. I'm Sugimoto from class 1-2. Could you possibly be behind the school after classes are over? I'll be there until something. Uh, are we getting confession? Confession time? Okay, Mr. Top of the school. More women that I'm gonna have to reject. Okay, it's a different girl. Please go with me! He's going with that. Okay, so it's like, no, I'm so I got no time for hoes. I'm too busy studying. 
寝る間も惜しんで勉強しなくて。あら、誰かの相手をする暇なんて。Like he didn't, he could have said something way worse, like you're not worthy of my smile. Right? That's shit that Anakochi would say to like Sato. You know? He's not like being overtly mean. He's just like, sorry, I'm too busy studying. <laughs> he just cheats, bro. <laughs> Oh, the, the girls actually run out like this when re getting rejected? Only in anime. I... Okay, he's a piece of shit. Absolute piece of shit, bro. The commoner like you? <laughs> well, I guess if you compare his powers inherently, I guess he could seem like a commoner, but like you can see how twisted and distorted. How much of the a power trip he's having with this, you know, newfound powers as a high schooler, huh? If you give like a 15, 16 year old kid this kind of powers, I think it makes sense. Madonna of the school? Yumi chan! Oh, she thought that he was kind of hot though, right? Isekai! Oh god! Isekai incoming! Huh? Cause that's the truck driver. You're what? You're insane! To get the girl, you're gonna try to make the guy crash into her and then save her? That is... That's so ridiculous. That is so crazy. Dude, of all the ways to like make her fall for you, you're gonna like almost try to kill her? <laughs> He's a guy. That's fucking crazy! Oh shit! I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be so meta if there's an isekai in the future where instead of a truck coon hitting somebody and them getting isekai, it's the driver that gets isekai. I think that would be an incredibly hilarious way to start an isekai and that's kind of like meta because every time, you know, truck fucking hits something, but why not the truck driver himself gets isekai? <sighs> Bro almost killed him. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, hand. This motherfucker. He doesn't fucking deserve this shit. <laughs> he knew. He knew that was so calculated right here. He's like, well, I'll be going now. <laughs> and he look at the look. He's like, yeah, she's gonna say wait anytime soon. Come on. Come on. Oh, here it is, beta. Pancake? You wanna go get pancakes together? Ooh, I want your pancakes, Yumi chan. <laughs> that fucking smile. That fucking piece of shit smile he does. <laughs> He's a fucking villain, dude. Yeah, absolute fucking maniac. Psychopath. Yeah, I almost killed you as well. Oh, Michan, so quick with it! Cap. Nice assist. Yes. The fuck? Yo! There's still the stalker! Now, I wonder if this stalker was watching the entirety of him. Trying to get, you know, Yumi chan killed with a saver. Did she record all of this? There's a girl behind this camera, right? She has some kind of like long silver hair. So, and she is also the poster girl of this show. Is she Charlotte? Is her name Charlotte? What is this? Pancake. Scorpius pancake. Wait, 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 wait. What was the technique? Sorry, I was too busy with the waffle argument. What was the technique? You just cover them. Oh, so each layer you covered it and then you stacked it together like a hamburger. That, that's kind of the skit. That's, that, that's this tactic she's doing. Put syrup over it? Like, what the f? Mm. All right, we're going on a date. We're eating pancakes, sunset lighting. Things are going great, bro. Haro, haro. <laughs> No, I haven't. I guess our character Yu doesn't care about popular media. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. Yu, would you like to walk home together today? I'll be it's too easy. It's not fair. This guy is such a piece of shit. And he's getting everything. It's... 
No, no, it's the first episode, right? It's the first episode and it's too fucking easy right now. I'm just waiting for that girl with the camera to hit us with the fucking bombshell. Does he know the truth? Does she know the fucking truth? <laughs> Puny villain laugh, bro. <laughs> Another pancake day <date> secured. <laughs> <clears throat> that should do it. You got a persona you have to keep up here. Student council? Student council for what? Seto Kaicho no Omura des. Tebayak Tanamita in Deska. So reva anata shidai des. Do it again. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, how did they know though? It was too perfect. The answers are too fucking perfect. No, walk out. I would just walk out. I would just walk out. You can't make me do this. President? Principal? I mean, is it the identical test? If it's an identical test, then he could simply just swap with that guy right there and just take the answers again. But it's like a different version A and B? Yeah, okay, it's identical. And I guess he would never... <laughs> this piece of shit! It's the council president! <laughs> Bro, just what's that? The fucking fucking grab your model the entire look at this seriousness in his face too. Look how immersed he was. Like, mm, yeah, it's like I, then again, I, I'm realizing like, what the fuck is the point of him looking at the fucking answers right now, right? What good is this doing? Like, bro, what are you doing? Why would you rip that up though? What about the test? What about the test? You just rip up the porno. What? Where were you? What the fuck? Wait, I, what, what, what? Oh, she is the student council president? Who the fuck is Charlotte? Yeah, I'm a, what, what, who, who is this Charlotte person? I don't think there's a Charlotte here. Oh, right, because he's the student council president of our school. I'm like, what the fuck? What do you mean president? Different Wait, why the f You're a president at a different school and you're stalking a kid in a diff this school? Why? Okay. I saw the final bits of it when he ripped it up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Narcolepsy. Oh, yeah. I just fall asleep immediately. Medical records. What the fuck? Why do you care? Who is this dude? Okay, got this a Megane as well. Yumi chan? Oh! <laughs> is he just gonna leave? Is he just gonna leave her? <laughs> he's such a piece of shit! He's, he's such a fucking piece of shit! Shit, whoops, all right, bye. <laughs> Five people in the intermission of Charlotte here. Can we see? Probably this is uh, that silver hair girl, Tomiko or whatever. This is probably main character and glasses. And we have two more girls, I guess, we're missing, which is the Penta, the five of this show, I guess. Tomoki, Tomori. Who the fuck is Charlotte? What the fuck was that? What the wh what? Something was super fast there. Is that someone running, right? Are these also superpowers? Like, are there other psychics? ESP? Holy shit! Who is it? Oh shit, he's just standing there. That's its powers? Wait. He's pretty fucked up. So is his power just like super speed, but he can't control it because he has no brakes, so he just like gets hurt every fucking time? What is this? He looks so menacing and intimidating. 
That had to go. Oh my god, that has to be one of the coolest Megane scenes I've ever seen in anime. This is the cliche where the, you know, the glasses does the fucking. <laughs> There's something like this. Usually they'll say something and, and they'll explain shit and then go like this and then the glasses tint. But holy shit, look at the synchro of the wind behind them. Is this the wind that's barely following him? Right? Because, like, he's moving so fast that he arrived here so quick. And then the wind is basically catching up with him, yeah? It's so funny how his body's all fucked up, though, from the speed. Oi, oi! Yo, you could kill somebody if you land somebody like that, right? Like a skipping rock. They're literally skipping a rock across the river. Uh, I guess his superpower is speed, and ours is, like, take control some of for five seconds. Breakneck movement, that's a skill? Yeah, I'm surprised. His body is all just completely shattered and broken. Like, people like him probably, like, like if you move that fast and you accidentally hit into somebody, they could just fucking die, couldn't they? Then again, so is our power, right? Five seconds of, like, taking someone else's, you know, consciousness, for, but we lose control for five seconds? It seems like... The psychic powers in this show, they're, they're like, sometimes there's like, like, the speed is the good part, but like, we can't control it. So everyone's going to have like these powers that's like, imperfect. <laughs> New school? Tomori. No penny shot, I think. Okay, so this, this show, I still haven't seen a penny shot yet. The fan service they're doing with this show is very, uh, I mean, there was the like, the grab your, you know, model. Uh, uh, the magazine, but that's not really it. They, they haven't shown a single panty shot, and even now, if they didn't show a panty shot, then this show is gonna go the distance, huh? Can you? This school is all <laughs> superpower kid. Those powers are a disease, only through puberty. So basically, you only have these powers for high school, and then once you graduate, you're done. Until you become like a grown adult. Star Ocean. Yo, yeah, is this like, you know, the puberty syndrome? Remember uh, Bunny Girl Senpai? Imagine this is like the same Bunny Girl Senpai universe. <laughs> but like, Bunny Girl Senpai, those powers are fucking like, they're not even power. They're just like random fucking like diseases and random fucking annoying shit that happens. And here it's like people get like powers. Based is pretty. Tomori rizzing us? Yeah, we got Yumi-chan and then Yumi-chan's kind of gone now. Invisible! She can go invisible! Ooh, you can see her hitting? Only one person? She's only invisible to one person at, at a time. So all these powers are so funny. It's like, it almost sounds OP, but they all have this one thing that makes it imperfect. それ以外の人間には普通に死人できます。あなたには私たちの生徒会に入ってもらいます。はあ？あなたの能力は使えるので、あなたのように力を悪用している奴らを。Okay, okay. So basically, too many kids with these tuny powers are fucking shit up, and we need to make sure there's a balance in the world. What are they gonna do with the sister? 体育の時間にちょっとな。Oh, that's the thing that they talk about, how they got the Guardians, you know, uh, permission. Sister also has powers? <laughs> what happened to mom and dad? It's just uncle, huh? As a Guardian? The sister's actually very, 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 very cute. She's, she's fun. She, she, she's just a bottle of fun, joy, just happy, happy, happy. Sometimes she can only cook one thing. Fucking <laughs> 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 too sweet girl, stop using that goddamn pizza sauce. Learn how to fucking cook. Mom left? Divorce and then the mom dropped the kids off at uncle. What about dad? Damn. Okay. Another person in our family. Wait, what? Huh? Huh?
No, 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 no. This seems like a really important plot point. So the family is no parents because of divorce. The mom left the kids after the uncles. We don't know what happened to the dad, but I guess he's just a dead beating. It's gone. But you seems to be more mad at mom than dad. Then again, dad was never brought up, but I'm just going to assume that dad's not really that bad. And mom just kind of fucked shit up and just left the kids here. And then the sister's now saying, I swear to God, we have like another sibling. Is the sibling Charlotte? There's a mysterious sibling. And maybe this has to do with her powers. Maybe she also has powers. Because why else is she getting enrolled in the Star Ocean school, right? So I'm just going to assume that the sibling has to do with her powers. The oh, fuck? She's just got a telescope? <laughs> is, she only, is she actually looking at stars? Is she fucking creeping? She had a fucking weird look in her face. She's blushing. Nah, she's just looking at the stars, right? She's not fucking creeping at random dudes in the other apartments, right? Oh my. She loves stars, huh? Well, uh, optimally, I guess that's something that everyone knows what to talk about. But like, uh, trendy stuff, he's not wrong. But like, I feel like true friends are people that you can talk to them about anything and they'll accept you. Even if you think that their hobbies are weird or cringe, they'll like accept you for who they are. Like real friends, you know? He's kind of right. We got a two bedroom here with fucking apartment. Uh, we got an air conditioning. Even have movers help us out. Just to steal their job. She's so good. I think she is my favorite character so far. She's just so happy and bubbly and just fun. And I hope she has some cracked powers too. Something about the invisible sibling is kind of suspicious though, but so far of all the characters, like, she's just so heartwarming. Wait, oh shit, Yumi-chan! Wait, Yumi-chan, we're, we're moving to school. Oh shit, are we gonna dump Yumi-chan? In the span of one episode? I feel bad for Yumi-chan, man. So like, hold up! Michon, Yumi-chan, they never mattered. Because like, we're not at the school anymore. This is like Nishitani from like Eminence and Shadow. Well, she kind of matters later. But like, you know what I mean? You know, it's like you get introduced all to all these new characters and like, <laughs> and, and like, oh shit, I gotta memorize them. It's like, nope, we're on a different world. They don't matter anymore. Ignore that shit. I'm like, oh, okay. 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 Until the power disappears. Okay. Ah, shit. Long distance is hard to make it work, man. This sucks, but you know, you started something you couldn't fucking commit to with your powers. Oh my god! I thought she'd be crying or something, but she's like, yo! I've known you for like one episode. We ate one pancake. You think we're like serious right now? Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my god. I'm glad this is happening actually. Because I felt bad for Yumi-chan. I thought that he would leave and she would cry. But she's like, bro. We went for one pancake date. Get a fucking grip. Oh my god. Yumi-chan cracked. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm out. But that's it. <laughs> Yumi-chan! More girls need to be like this in fucking sword art online, man. Instead of getting folded by Kirito every time. Then again, we have Shinon right now who's not getting folded. But damn, this is a great representation of a girl that just not being used as a fucking tool for a harem. Has their own independence. Just fucking leaves. Bye. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, are you d dumped? We're not even dating. We went on a fucking pancake date once. Like, you're not girlfriend, boyfriend. I don't think you're dumped. The <laughs> stop, stop. Why is she always filming? Why is she always filming? I thought that she's filming because, uh, she was trying to get us. Like, uh, the, the, what was it? Uh, we're like, uh, she was trying to catch him in the act. But well, then again, I guess she needs to have some kind of evidence. So she does the main scouting, so she's always filming, I guess. And does that mean that the entire time that we were being followed, she was invisible to us? So anytime she's tracking somebody, right? 
we she is invisible to them so she can, so she's like the perfect role to like find people abusing powers and manage them i guess Yo, you is like so not, you know, getting along. Okay, this guy might be one of my favorite characters too. Is he gonna keep doing this? Is he gonna keep doing this shit? <laughs> Look at this! The speed! The speed! How? How was he so ready? Goma zone instead of Amazon. Oh, Yummy food. Is it more omurice? Is it more omurice, bro? What is this shit? Just a shitload of ramen. <laughs> At least Uncle hooked you up with something, man. Like, yeah, just sending a box of instant ramen is like not like the most, you know, healthy thing, but at least he's trying to help. Hashtag ad. <laughs> Invisible. Tomori and Ayumi gonna get along, I guess. Okay. These two seem to be hitting off. Tomori has completely won her over. Oh. This relationship is nice, Tomori and uh, Ayumi. Oh, it's that girl again! <laughs> He's a fucking hater. <laughs> he really hates, you know, idols, huh? I, what, what does the world come to that this kind of stuff? <laughs> Bro's the biggest idol hater. Okay, this is gonna be funny. Well, she's in elementary school, right? Two separate school, even though it's like a star ocean. It is a cool name, Star Ocean. And she likes stars too. What about the ocean part? No, it's not uncle. Wait, it's not uncle. It's the missing sibling. Wait, wait. So in the dreams, he remembers the sibling that they used to have, but it's gone now. Huh. What the fuck is going on here, man? What, 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 what is going on here? Oh, he's pretty older, right? Can't see his eyes. Grayish hair. Does he go to the school? I don't know. And that is the episode. Charlotte. Well, shit, I don't know who Charlotte is. There's not a single person here named Charlotte, but that's for us to figure out much later. So basically, in this world, there are these kids with uh, supernatural powers, but they're all defective. He can, like, take control of somebody for five seconds, but he also, his original body just, like, folds and his gat is sticking up the entire time. There's a girl that can, you know, be invisible, but to only one person that she chooses. There's a guy that's so fucking fast, but has no brakes. And Ayumi... Our sister, I don't know what kind of power she has just yet, but it may somehow relate to the sibling, or maybe it doesn't. And because we, at the dream right at the very end, we remember this like apparently lost sibling that we don't really remember anymore. I'm just gonna assume that the reason we don't remember is due to some kind of supernatural powers of that missing sibling, or it's related to Aimee, but interesting how they're keeping that like a mystery as a focal point. The other thing that's pretty funny is that the main character, you, is a piece of shit. He, he is not a good person and it's kind of refreshing to see like an asshole like to just do whatever he wants but at the same time we can recognize that he's an asshole right so it's like we don't really root for the main character we just kind of like watch the shit happen it's just funny and laugh at him so there's kind of that appeal but i wonder if he's gonna like become like a quote-unquote better character as the show continues my favorite character so far is probably that takago guy you know he's so fast in megane he's super fast ayumi is just such a ball of happiness fluffy just joy Tomori, I don't know enough of her just yet, but she has a little bit of sass and her design is really nice. And <laughs> Yumi-chan, I don't think we're going to see her again for, but in the context of one episode, what a giga chad. She may have gotten, you know, tricked into going into pancake date, but she was the coldest when she was like, you think we were dating? We eat pancake once, get the fuck out of my face. I love me girls like that. I'm glad they didn't do some kind of like breaking her heart and she's fucking crying and he's like leaving that'd be kind of cringy right so very nice on how they handle yumi chan so i guess we're star ocean academy and there's like an elementary school and like a high school for ayumi and you to go to 
and we're trying to basically stay here until the puberty phase is over and the power goes away and then we can leave but there's also like a student council that's like trying to figure out and scout and poach different people with this like puberty syndrome that has the power so first episode premise pretty interesting but that's it for me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care